Dohanu speaks to traumatized residents of Gaziantep in Turkey amid a frantic search and rescue mission for survivors. Qatar Red Crescent Society dedicates $1 million for initial relief operations in Turkey and Syria as the death toll mounts. In other news, Qatar Airways launches an investigation after a near-miss incident during takeoff from Doha. And finally, the two spots are filled for an exciting final showdown at the FIFA Club World Cup. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Thousands of residents in the Turkish city of Gaziantep have abandoned their towering apartments to opt for alternative shelters amid heightened fears of a third major earthquake and more aftershocks. Yohanu spoke to residents on ground who described the tragic events as quote, like the end of the world. In the heart of the city, businesses are closed and instead have become shelters for those worried about collapsing buildings. Check out our website for an exclusive feature from our journalist Mohamed Al Tayyib in Turkey. And on that note, Qatar's Red Crescent Society has allocated a major $1 million fund for immediate relief efforts. So far, four mobile clinics were deployed by QRCS's representation mission in Turkey to four areas in northern Syria to provide makeshift shelters, emergency medical services, and psychological support. Rescue operations continue to race against time to pull survivors trapped under the rubble. And now, Qatar Airways confirmed it has launched a probe after one of its Boeing 787s came within seconds of hitting the Gulf shortly after takeoff from Hamad International Airport. Flight records show on 10th of January the departing aircraft made a sharp nosedive after departure for Copenhagen. Falling 300 meters in 24 seconds, the plane came within meters of a body of water before regaining control and recovering altitude. And finally, Al Hilal advanced to the final of the FIFA Club World Cup on Thursday after beating favorites Brazilian Flamengo in an intense match in Morocco. Two penalties from Salim El Doseri and a close range strike from Luciano Vieto secured the fate of both teams at the tournament. Now the Saudis will be taking on Spanish giants Real Madrid at the FIFA Club World Cup final on Saturday. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.